How's it going, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are back once again to take on 10 Masters. That's right, it's time for Ip Man 2. I am very excited, and thank you guys for just being so gracious and for responding so well to the first Ip Man. I cannot wait to continue the series. And with me in the hot seat is Roxy Stryer. How you doing, Roxy? Yeah, I'm so glad that they liked the first one because I was really nervous we were never going to be able to watch the second one, and I I've know. been like anxiously waiting for this. Oh, sure. Well, and with Donnie Yen tearing it up in John Wick Chapter 4, now is the perfect time. So, guys... Why don't you go ahead and leave a like on this video? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Roxy Stryer as well as the Whirl Girls. How the Whirl Girls doing? They're whirling, baby. Oh, yeah. Whirling and twirling. Going to repeat the joke from the first intro. Oh, yeah. It got better the second oh, time. Oh, so much better now. swirling the third time. Swirling. Purling? And Merlin. Only sometimes. And, uh, Purling. You're sterling like silver. But we're gold. But you're gold. There you go. That's what I've been told. And hey, if you want to get the Ooh, full so on, <laughs> I appreciate. I feel so supported <laughs> here really in this good. moment. If you want the full on experience with us, everything that doesn't make these reaction highlights, come on over to our Patreon page, Patreon.com/slash/TheRealRejects, where you can sync up with your own copy of Ip Man 2 and enjoy the complete experience alongside us. And uh, hey, without further ado, you ready to throw down on some kung fu action? Is Roxy ready to? rock yeah are you ready to see <laughs> are you ready to, to wing chun yeah you know it let's jump into this dude I, I feel like there's a pun that i am missing but we'll find it after the oh, okay intro. oh we'll look for it. how many years after did this come out a few Two. Two. 2010 we're in. Okay. The year is 2010. The year is 2010. Roxy is in high school and she's ready for Ip Man 2. I'm in college at this at point, college, baby. Ready for Ip Man 2. But apparently not because here we are in 2023 yet again. Starting with that dull color. Yeah. Last time on Ip Man. <laughs> Woo. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Like Sin City all of a sudden. Sammo Hung! Oh, I'm excited. I've seen a couple of his movies. It looks sketched totally in the background. It's, that's wild. Yeah. It's a cool combination. Yeah. Whoa. Score is beautiful too. It's so swelling and epic. It's interesting too. It just said action director. <laughs> There's so much action. It's a whole job. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> it's like choreographer almost, I guess. Never too good for your daily practice. Do you know what that thing's called? You know I should. <laughs> Comment below. Wow, <laughs> For like a dojo kind of thing? Yeah. Gonna open up his official school. He's ready to really teach. Somehow those clothes are gonna become kung fu. The sheets. <laughs> I like that she said clothes, it's like 15 sheets. <laughs> you know. It's not about f fabrics and garments. It's about martial arts, okay? Totally. It's not laundry, man. <laughs> oh, no. You see the inner conflict. It's so not like him to not get the door and confront the problems head on. Yeah. And especially after... <laughs> Where they came from in yeah. the first movie, now to be in this position to go from like tyrannical oppression to now just trying to scrape by to, to prior to that being s just so rich, yeah, ever poised though. <laughs> you what martial arts? I mean, hello. <laughs> 
，输咗我咪交学费咯。Clearly a student of principle. Oh. <laughs> oh, a jean jacket feels restrictive for that. I know the heavy cloth. Although it might make good protection. Just showing like new school versus old school, right? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. God, those just like multiple punches are so visceral. Yeah, you, they just move their arms so fast. What's your luck? For me, I don't do much. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, he's been stunned, stupefied. <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Ow! <laughs> Knuckle sandwich. Hey, but Gaha, don't go off fight all. You can pay my entire rent now, right? Brings other people. Oh, he's fighting dirty. I don't know, maybe we're Tonga. You didn't say anything. I thought he was going to kill him. You didn't have to be a teacher. Let's go. Smart. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. Damn. Wow. Point. So much style with such an effortless grace. Sifu, I call Wang Liang. Please show Tong Dai a bow. What a turn of events. Do you want to go to Sifu Police? Oh, you don't need to be a bother. Let's go. The love of God pay your fees. Donnie Yen is just so endearing and charismatic. When he smiles, I like. Melt in my soul. I know. I just wish anyone would smile at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so comforted. Can I? <laughs> what if I hired ten men with weapons to come here to, to challenge <laughs> us? <laughs> he hasn't from any of them? Come on. You're not made for this world, Ip. You're just too good. Oh, my mother is going to use my money, so I'm going to collect the money. Oh, oh. Oh. I'll buy a beer. Oh, this poor guy. Oh, wow. Oh, poor guy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. War time, man. How is it your fault? Oh, God. 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 Or I'll whip your ass. It's wild how important respect is in this culture. Sure. Respect and etiquette. Yeah. Can I get you to go? I'm a fighter. I'm a fighter. Uh-oh. Famous last words. You think he's learned enough to win? I don't. You don't have to help him. Oh, there's still a lot. Don't worry about it. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. Okay, maybe he has. I don't know. I don't know. That was not a good sign with the hat. That was not a good sign. Yeah! Whoa. <laughs> nice with the sleeves. Also, he was told to run, so. 
It's not funny, but he learned enough for at least for one. He's made progress. Do you think he's gonna live? Yes. Ransom. It's like a lawless land. You can't do that. It's like the Wild West in a way, just instead of like, you know, gangs of ruffians, you just got different factions of masters of kung fu. The cigarette <laughs> the thing martial is arts. bizarre. You gotta have one vice in this life. <laughs> But, but it's also the 30, you know, like smoking was good for you back then. It's actually 1950 here. There's a title card up at the top. But still, you know, smoking was good for you in the 50s, right? Just he has such great endurance. Yeah. That's how is probably he trains with the smoke in his lungs to make them it's that be... much more capacious. He's... Oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> oh, boy. Wow. Ow. How many men is this? Way more than ten. Yeah, do we get a count? <laughs> yes. Sick Teamwork. move. Way more usage of props in this one. Yeah. And like more cutting in general. But last time we had feathers, now we've got wood. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Don't get mad at me. Don't you want to see him on Dancing with the Stars? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, I didn't know I would, but now I do. That. It's like his footwork is so great. His kicks. Oh, sure. And he's so light on his feet. Yes. So graceful. No, run. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> Smack him. <laughs> Hello. Go. Go. Oh, jeez, no. Oh. Hey. Come on down. What? He's back? <laughs> Let's do this. Come here. Is that the master? Oh. Sam, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. My friend and my friend are together. My friend and my friend are together. My friend and my friend are Oh, come on. What? They're arresting him for what? Uh, this guy owns the street, you know. <laughs> What are you going to do? <laughs> it's this word against Ips. Okay, so this one so far is still great. More out there than the sure. first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome. Have a seat. You have a little something for me? <laughs> Feel represented finally. <laughs> it's you. This is my favorite character. 
今次嘅比賽，唔知我可以分到幾多咧 ？Three percent。阿頭啊，分幾多俾佢咧 ？You tell me， 阿天紅師傅。I'm not going to talk about that now. Thank you. He's in a different movie right now. A little bit. As all white folks should be in <laughs> our own movie. 要不是当年在棉花厂，你一棍把我打醒了。我现在在香港，不知道干什么。I like his growth. People change, yeah. Yeah. 我一定会报仇嘅。出去我就铲佢个鱼啦，毒鬼死晒佢啲鱼。Careful, bud. 咁同佢哋有咩差别先？我看到他，就跟我当年一模一样。要把他教好的话，给他介绍个老婆，就像我一样。Well done. I love that Ip Man accepts anybody if they come as the best version of themselves. Like he doesn't need an apology; just happy to have them be good. Yeah, he can see the growth. Yeah. Yeah. Iman, go to Oh, he's gonna send one of them. He's gonna trade himself for the kid, right? They will send me two days. They will send me back. Good guy. 我又想麻煩你。Oh jeez！ 阿阿文哥，我我唔夠錢啊！伊頓啊，老婆，你有冇錢？哦，江湖救急嘛，成日都係咁，冇啊！幫幫忙嘛，老婆。Make me look like an idiot in front of Master Rip. He's a funny character. Yeah. 我會盡快還翻俾你。唔該曬，唔該曬，冇關係，冇關係。I like him. I love his growth, and that I can now actually be excited to see him. Yeah, yeah, totally. He was such a dick. Yeah, and they completely faked me out in the first one. 講有料，邊個及得你羅師傅啊？等陣間上唔上去啊？你唱我咪唱咯。Idiots. Y'all don't even know about Ip. You're gonna put some respect on that name. 你投降算输，你出张台算输，你仲企喺张台上面嘅。Challenge accepted. He goes by everybody else's rules too to show respect, like to the systems. Man, Ip Man is just class act. Absolutely, and probably to show that he can—he's not so rigid that he can't just adapt. Right. If he needs to. Let's go. He said no style at all. Y'all are idiots. You know we need Flash Man. 睇下有冇人上去先。Well, don't all jump up there at once. Bunch of wimps. Let me get my head first. Hmm. Hmm. He keeps doing this like squint, like whole thing. You see what I'm saying? An interesting actor choice. Oh. How does he fly like that? He's got an interesting vibe about. Yeah, really interesting. I'm kind of liking his choices. Ooh, damn. Wow. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Some of these shots are nuts. The wink. Oh. 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 Did he punch him in the balls? Look kind of like it. Thank you for letting me win. He tries to like save everybody's dignity. Truly, leader by example, impeccable in his word. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dang! Nice. Oh, jeez. Let's roll him off the table. Thank you, Liu Shao. Oh. Yeah, get up there, boss man. Put your money where your mouth is. He's like. The Godfather, or like Ooh. Tony Soprano, or something. Sure, yeah. Whoa! Oh my! <laughs> oh 
man. <laughs> Tank. Tank. Come on, Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Capture the magic. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> The double. Such a clever way to raise tension. There's <laughs> bloody knuckles over here. Whoa! Oh, jeez. The table. Whoa! Oh, jeez. <laughs> Interesting. What's the hundred dollars a month going to? Yeah, I don't trust You're that. making Isha up. It's like a protection fee on your own against your own people yeah it's like what if you got the police and stuff in your pocket too you're probably yeah, just just paying it's like paying the mob yeah maybe a little more respect but generally well done my guy Respect him. Hells yeah, no, I'm here for it. He invented pictures in the newspaper. No. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Whoa. Bad. Bad. Bad boys. This is about to become the raid right now. Oh, jeez. No, guys. Oh, my gosh. You guys are... S How old are these? Are they teenagers? Because they're acting like children. Oh. Guys. It man's people are the ones at fault here as well. Yeah. And they're destroying other people's art and work. Look what you're doing to each other. They're all just itching to fight, man. There's no winner. Everyone's a loser. It's like Alien versus Predator. Ugh, I'm so upset with you guys. Wow. Oh, man. I'm devastated. The further we get into the story of it, man, the more I'm afraid he's going to snap at some point. <laughs> he is not a snapping type. No, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, where's the breaking point? What is he going to say to them right now? Like, get it together, because you guys just destroyed something beautiful. Uh, we've been here before. Says every person with a clear conscience. Oh my god, dude. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. Wow. Do you think that is important? Or Snack on some pearls of wisdom. It man's just the best bro he's Goals. like one of the greatest protagonists of all time so easy to root for him 
。哦、师傅，系我冲动，连累你冇即刻武馆。入、yep。其实阿梁你系一个练武嘅人才。嗯哼。不过你所追求嘅系武功上嘅拳脚招式，而我想你学嘅系中国嘅武术，因为中国武术系包含咗我哋中国人嘅精神。嗯。Again zone。归在中国，不争之争。Huh, that's a bar. Striving not to strive. Yeah, don't try too hard. Just kind of be here now and flow. Be like water. Yeah. Uh oh. Chief. All right. What version are you or of you are you bringing to the table today, sir? <laughs> yeah. Did you learn anything from yeah. the last few times we've spoken? Actually, you want to know, Chief? Actually, I've added more fish. 唔知你有冇興趣睇咧？係西洋拳賽，唔阻你啊！哇 ，That's subtle. Change in the tune. So he's inviting him to watch or participate. He's just inviting him to watch. Maybe he's going to show them kind of what they're up against now. He's Chinese kung fu master Hong Shifu. 你好。Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> 佢話叫你今次做義工喎、哦，我啲手足啊，停曬魚攤啲生意嚟呢度做嘢噶，唔好勞氣，得住佢大家都冇運行嚇，咪當食少啲減肥咯。Ouch! Clearly, you're, you're fine enough the way you are. 唔俾錢咪最多唔撈，你唔做個撲街話亂魚攤都唔俾你做，我忍下啦。點忍啊 ？Will somebody get this yellow piece of fat out of here? You're making too much noise. 講人話唔好講鬼話咧。Oh boy. 我哋都唔攞啊，走！好多人跟你揾食噶，你哋留低做嘢，做嘢啊 ！It's good they got his back at least. Mm-hmm. Kind of like him too. As the perspective starts、yeah. to turn, now you see what he's up against. The British dude sucks. The fighter, like someone's got to teach that dude a lesson, man. Someone needs to deck that dude in the chops. <laughs> Racist asshole. 一阵间各个门派都会上去表演武术嘅。你都叫啲徒弟上去玩下，趁机会俾多啲人认识下咏春。I knew it. It's like they have very different ideals in a way, but a similar kind of integrity. It's like the traitor from last time. 誒，你哋上去黐下手啊！哦，一齊行啊！咪搞得幾好，蝕低啲當為武術界宣傳嘅啊 ！God, what a weird game to have to play now, marketing and publicity. It's not pantomime, Taylor. This is Chinese boxing. Do you know this actor? I believe the screaming、no. gives them strength. Well, I mean, you let out ex- additional energy when you. you oh my、know. god! Oh my god! Oh my god! You hear him? He said, "Let's give him something to scream about."、Oh. I hope they kick his ass. Yeah, all those dudes should be able to take this guy down. Kill him. Punch me. <laughs> nice. Whoa! More power! Come on! It's too much power. I hate this. I hate this. I want to fast forward. <laughs> jolly good, jolly ho! Oh, what? Come on! No! You should stick to dancing. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, some some real bad's、oh, no. gonna happen. Oh no! 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 Yeah, he gonna get hurt real bad. Enjoy the show. Oh, hoo hoo hoo! And now he's probably gonna cry because he got hit. Ip Man will destroy you, bitch. Yeah, dude. Sifu, Sifu, will come. I say, pull him. Oh, buddy, he's not gonna be the same. Like it was all that you beat up on all their students. Yeah. 我哋表演中国武术，你唔中意睇嘅，你可以走。但系你出手伤人，就应该同你道歉。He wants you to apologize. 
<laughs> what is this, some stupid Chinese tradition? The winners have to apologize to the losers? Well, if I had to do that, I'd be apologizing every day. I hate this guy. I hate him. <laughs> He's a good actor, though. I is good at this, yeah. And you beat me in a fight yep. right now. And I'll apologize. <laughs> I was going to say, how is this going to go with just all punches on his side? He's got to lose, right? Because Ip Man's going to have to come and beat him at some point, and so it's not going to make sense. Yeah, he's probably got to do something dirty. He's probably going to cheat. Yeah, yeah, something really dirty. He's going to get... get hurt. Oh. Oh, jeez. Who's in Master Hung's corner? Ip, get up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, because he's got the whole like political array to figure out. He's got to find out a way to beat this guy without beating this guy. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeah, get him on the ropes. No, 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 no. Oh, get up, Pong. Come on, man. Are you okay? Fight. Oh, boy. I'm very worried. The fact that we b met these characters this movie and we care this much. God, the angles, the camera movements are so visceral, too. Yeah. Master's out of breath. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. I don't know, that was pretty boss. No, but the music is telling us otherwise. Yeah. Oh, thank God for that. Thank God for the bell. Saved by the saved, bell. Literally saved by the bell. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. It's not just his, though. I feel like you need a mouth guard or something, man. Yeah. He should have, it man should have reminded him of his kids. Family, family, take your kids to ice cream. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, no. no this is like Creed, man. I was going to say, next movie, they're going to be fighting Rocky. No, oh. no. Ah! Ow! Jeez. No. It. Don't die in the ring, man. What are you saying? He's gonna die. I think he might. I'm I'm very afraid right now. Sorry, I just hit you really hard. No, it's oh. all good. It's all good. Oh. Ow. No, 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 no. 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 Come on. Ah, uh, call the round. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> Let go of the ropes. Let go. He's like not letting go. Ah! Stop! Come on, dude. He's barely in the room. Let go. Let go. Let go. Oh no. No. Oh. That is a dead master. Oh. 
no. Go home, boys. <sighs> That's your new general. That's the new dude you got to teach a lesson. I hate him. I. Yeah. That was actually really hard to watch. Yeah. That made me sick I'm, to my stomach. I am drained right now. What's wrong with people? You know how Ip Man's a real person, uh, the first one's based off of that? Yeah. Is this one based off of anything? It's a good question. I mean, some of, at least a fair amount of this feels, again, plausibly like it could be decently based on history. Like, like is, is Master Hung a person? I wonder. Maybe like some kind of cheeky little nod to Sammo Hung or like a relative, perhaps? Oh, how far we came. How are you feeling right now, bud? Yeah, like dog trash, I'm sure. You've seen what the local newspapers are saying about us? The truth? <laughs> You'd better take care of this. <laughs> I do not want to be in the newspaper once more for bullying the Chinese. <laughs> the Chinese. What accent? Was in that all ADR or like what was that? That was so weird. Yeah, that was all ADR. I think the one guy was like kind of German, <laughs> but not. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> wow. Damn it, short pants. This is what happens to people who mess with me. Uh, Ugh. Uh, hold his hands. Uh, what? Uh, Absolute worst. Stop! This is a war crime. What? A Chinese boxer rather overestimated himself and challenged our champion. Twister reluctantly accepted the challenge. <laughs> During the fight, unfortunately, the Chinese boxer was so weak. They needed TikTok during this time, podcast, something. Yeah, one camera <laughs> phone, change everything. Tragically died. Oh, my God. We are sorry what? for this regrettable accident. Most Assholes. punchable face ever. It's just like the most punchable. To protect my name <laughs> and reputation, <laughs> I have agreed... To fight any Chinese person. Let's go, Ep. Every Chinese person. The Chinese like to use bees. <laughs> and I would like to stick to that tradition. Because <laughs> I doubt that there is any Chinese fella that has the guts to get in the <laughs> ring with me. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> This is crossed over into a, yeah. into hilarity. Like he's just, I, I hate him so much. Because like you've never seen a villain as villainous as that villain. I cannot wait to see this guy taken down a peg. Oh, throwing down the gauntlet. But Ip is gonna drive him nuts because he needs that competitive element. Ip never beat Hung though, right? They, yeah, had like the a table draw. split, and then the kid was there. Like, he, it's not like we know for sure. I mean, I mean we know, but we if don't. dies know. in this one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. They're right. They know 100%. He's got the whole country on his back right yeah. now. Against like a Thanos, Thanos level villain. I mean, <laughs> this guy sucks. The two British white dudes in this. Are just the the least likable people I've ever heard of in my life. They're so ragey and completely disrespectful in every possible way. I respect your grit, man. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh sed sedition. Wing Chun goes out, Mogu, say young kid. I in tips a while, young kid, try come shaking me. Huh? <laughs> really? Uh, oh, oh, oh. I don't know if I trust that guy, but that's so beautiful. He went back to visit him after all he did for him. What an interesting, like, sea storyline with the guy with the duck. 
Yeah. Sorry, I realized that was a very vague chain of pronouns just there. But yes, Quan is his name. Not suspicious of him. Ip deciding to look after this guy who did so much for him back in Foshan is just a really lovely detail. Oh no. Oh no, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Is she going to bring the baby to the fight? <laughs> yes. Yeah, hold him up. <laughs> Give him that extra <laughs> ounce of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> And then you do the red stripe of his forehead with the blood of Twister. <laughs> oh, no. She's a legend. She is, I mean, they are perfect for each other. They are the perfect team. <laughs> Suffering silently, but with all the poise. When you want each other to win so bad. Uh, uh. But it, it does feel rigged because we're playing with boxing rules, like the rounds and the... But they are allowing kicks and stuff. I'm a, I'm a little... Yeah, yeah. What are the rules here? I'm surprised they didn't outlaw that. <laughs> I love, too, that Ip takes no joy in any of this. <laughs> so many people ha hate the British people. <laughs> like, I know. They're just, like, such a common villain in <laughs> so many <laughs> <laughs> They've been gallivanting throughout history, <laughs> colonizing yeah. and oppressing. That's and what, it is what happens. Stuff when <laughs> you're, yeah, people hate Americans too. So you know, we've all done deplorable <laughs> things in times of war. You can do it. I kind of want to see this guy in more stuff. Yeah, I wonder if he's like a like you know a stunt actor, or like a an actual fighter or something. Get to your corner. Please. Get out of it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, that is so weird that he went to go say hi. <laughs> Jesus. It's like they, they are cartoonishly disrespectful. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's on. Ow. Is that the first thing we've seen land on Ip? He's gotten a couple of... Seems like. Whoa! It's okay, he's taking him in. He's learning his style. Tiring him out. Oh! Fight! Oh! Closed fists. Ribcage, 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 ribcage. <laughs> Whoa! Nice! So oh, sweet! Sick. How do you like that? How's that taste? That was sick. Come on! Two, come on! Come on that. Three! Four! Five! Oh, Twister, you're not used to that, honey. Okay. <laughs> oh! He's supposed to ring the bell, but he didn't. I guess I should brush up on my boxing rules. Fight! <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey! Get back to your corners! To your corners! Wow, that guy's a cheater. The bell ringer's a cheater. It's interesting. I wonder what his game is. <laughs> yes! Come on, buddy! Ooh. Let's pound him like raw meat. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Nice, dude! You swallow your mouth guard. Woohoo! Oh! Jeez! Whoa! Shot illegal hit. It's a great freeze with a flash bulb, really quick. Come on, give me some water. Wow, you're a cheater. Yeah, you're a bad sport. Brad, please, could you come? How can we figure out a way to make this immense fault? 
please tell the Chinese guy, no more kicks like these. <laughs> no more kicks. I was waiting for it. We're moving the goalpost. Is that clear? Twister is my actual nemesis. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. No more kick. You'll be disqualified. Understand? Muscle memory. Careful. Ah. God. Yeah. This has major warrior vibes. Sure. You okay? None of this is okay. Kicking is half of his sport. I know. You can't take the kicking away. Or you're, it's, it's illegal. It's, you already agreed on, yeah, one style versus the right. other and all that implies, like. Otherwise you should take away the other guy's gloves. Yeah, fair. Oh, yeah, come on, buddy. Start wearing them down. Let's go, let's go. Destroy him. This is a really mean comment, but I hope he dies. <laughs> I wouldn't feel that bad. He brought it on himself. He had every opportunity. Wow. Make him go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. The move. Finish him. Oh, that nose is going to be powder. What? Two, three, four, five. Everyone, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, that is gratifying. That is cathar. Dad won twice today. Shit, newborn baby. <laughs> now, as long as he doesn't get shot like last time. Uh, yeah, let's wait and see what happens here. Step on him. Step all over him. He had his chance to be respectful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Raise him up. What's it, my God? Yes. <laughs> Febo has told me everything. Your Ouch. actions embarrass the entire Hong Kong police force. Arrest him. Yes! Throw him in the gulag. Wrong culture, but I don't care. I don't want to prove that our Chinese culture is the most important. It's the most important. Mm-hmm. It's the most important. It's the most important. It's the most important. Oh. Dude. Oh, jolly good, jolly good show. If it didn't mess up the shot, I would stand. I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, go meet your kid. You don't even know your kid was born. Yeah. Go decide on a baby name. Oh. oh. Wow, up on your feet and everything. Yeah. She's a legend. She's bro. a boss. Chileya. Bangga <laughs> Oh, walk that path of the righteous man. Can babies just like be outside <laughs> that I, quickly? I guess uh, people must have managed back then. Yeah. It's Twister. <laughs> no, it's his uncle. Oh. 
我想跟你有权，要几多钱？你叫咩名啊？我叫李小龙。哇，嘿嘿，有咩事干想学拳啊？见都唔信我机人，我就要打佢。等你大个啲，翻嚟搵过我啦，吓。嗯。That was cool. That's fun. Little did he know. Oh wow! It's like I I learned Taekwondo back in the day, but like now I want to tr- try out some Wing Chun. <laughs> I, it's like unbelievable. It's got to take so long to master, right? Oh yeah. I mean, because not only do you, I like this. I like this rock and roll credits music. Uh, yeah, it's like not only do you have to, I'm sure, mas- master various techniques and things like that, but it's also the repetition and building the muscle memory and just, you know, kind of aligning, you know, your mind with, as cliche as it sounds, aligning your mind with your body so that you can kind of move and flow naturally from the zone without having to think too hard, you know? Is this taught here? I'm sure it is. It I just don't, I don't know anybody who, what, what, what's the method called? Wing Chun. Wing Chun. I don't know anybody who took Wing Chun or learned Wing Chun. There are a lot of different, I mean, just even around here, there are like a lot, a lot, a lot of different martial arts schools. schools. So I'm, so I'm, sh- yeah. I'm sure there's one around. It's like, yeah, because you got Taekwondo, which is Korean. and then you Yeah, have, the Taekwondo I know people have taken. You got karate, you got yeah. Kung Fu. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are, definitely there's like a lot of Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. And there's right. a lot of... Um, all things that like I regularly hear about. But there, this... are pe- there are even places that have like Jeet Kune Do, which is the Bruce Lee fighting style that he developed. So like, based off of this, probably at least derived from. Sure, yeah, probably mixing a few different schools of thought. I would imagine. But yeah, there's got to like I feel like especially for as prolific as just the figure of it man is, plus these movies and things like that. Like there's there have to be Wing Chun schools around. Well, what do you think of the second one versus the first one? I mean, this was really fun. It's weird. Like, hearing, going in, I was expecting something much more fantastical and something, uh, yeah, that just had more of that, like, uh, wuxia kind of Chinese opera sort of style. And it definitely adds that. But it still Why felt like... Why were you like expecting that? You had heard that or you just felt like it? I had heard vaguely that the movies progressively, you know, get a bit more heightened. And I think after the first one being so surprised by just how historical uh, the basis was for the story and, and, you know, all the just all the time and place elements I wasn't expecting. Then coming out of that, I don't know, I, I, I guess it's maybe a nearsighted assumption of like, well, that's the historical story. Now we're kind of going to build out from beyond that. Like this still feels like it could easily be based on history, but I could also see, uh, I think, an easier potential for certain events to maybe have been truncated or, um, you know, like fabricated. Like I would be very curious to know if this was an actual fight that took place, if this was an actual, you know, competition, because, you know, like the, the, the British presence in Hong Kong, like, again, this isn't history I know intimately well, but, yeah, like, all the history lines up where I'm like, okay, so we're still grounded there, and I guess I was... In terms of colonization and, like, who the villains were at the time kind of stuff, you mean? Yeah, and just, like, what the tensions are in culture, both, uh, you know, just between the people who are trying to make it by under this rule, all the different, you know, Chinese folks who are just trying to make their livings, and then, um, you know, how that further interacts with you know the actual tyranny going on or at least the actual colonization occupation and how they're running things and how they are sort of directly influencing this like i like that you see um yeah it's like you meet master hung and you see this sort of status quo of this new environment that we're in and how you know the different schools interact with each other but then you see like the great instead of basically having this big shift into everybody now being sort of plopped into this nightmare situation of the japanese occupation now it's like you're here you find out one status quo only to be introduced to the greater status quo above all that which is you know the brits and what they are doing and how they are treating everybody and the greater concerns that go beyond just you know our uh you know it's like him and master hung there's so much of like it's not just it's not as simple as just you know fighting back in a certain way it's like you kind of have to step carefully 
around this situation. And all that stuff just kind of felt, if not built, ripped from this guy's actual history, at least plausibly ripped from history. So Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm with you. I, I also think that but it, what was really working for me about this is that it's about the the impression people have on each other based on nothing, based on ignorance, you know, it's uh, because when we're talking about the historical aspect of it, um, it's, it's also just about how British people felt about f- people that they deemed to be foreigners and what their lack of respect of other cultures is. Mm-hmm. And watching this, it's about being equals mm-hmm. and being respected equally in the, the lesson at the end about dignity and about um, integrity being it's it's not about proving you're better than or that this school of thought is better or that this school of um fighting is better it's about being respected and having different methods that both work simultaneously and yeah i, I thought that that was really cool because i was beforehand i said to you as we were coming into this movie i was like i'm a little nervous because how how is this going to be as people say this one's really good how is it going to be good compared to the first one which we both loved Mm -hmm. but i thought the first one the reason that i really loved it wasn't just because it was a fighting movie it was because of all the other stuff surrounding it that really elevated it and grounded it and so in this one i was like okay so we know it's not going to be about the japanese occupation so what what can they do that makes me feel like so much anger towards an enemy or a villain and, and doesn't just make it like inner fighting, you know? Yeah, it doesn't come with that tragic element. Yeah, and fighting, what you know? they decided to do in this one, it's like, oh, right, they just are following the the timeline of uh, of bullies <laughs> and of Time history. Timeline of history. Yeah. Bullies, bullies throughout history. Totally, totally. Sure. And I thought they did a really good job of that, but then at the end, not being like, ha, huh, we were always better than you. Mm-hmm. It's ha, huh, we always deserve to exist. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that universality of people's dignity above all else. And I think that's, you know, it, it, it's such a cathartic resolve. because, Like, this movie does have, I think, a different sort of tonal height especially with the british characters like in the first movie the japanese antagonists are much more there's just a different mystique and a different kind of grounding that they apply to those characters whereas here and it it is interesting because this is you know like a chinese production and all that stuff and so like whenever like yeah of course of course you have to look at it like that yeah whenever like brits or americans show up in these kinds of movies and even speaking english there's just like a different kind of timbre to how the performances go but i think just in the tone generally they had much more without it uh, working against the movie like it's not complaint but there was like a a a greater height a more over the top quality to the antagonists here that does kind of elevate the fantasy level a bit you know it does have like more of a clear-cut sort of enemy situation just because twister and his like main handler guy uh with the british army is they're just so pompous and so disrespectful all the time and uh (laughs) you just cannot wait to see them have their asses handed to them and i think they do nicely to make them formidable like twister is from at first i was like what are you gonna do you're a boxer these people like no kicks and and various like combinations of things and and not to slight boxing it is just a different school of thought and style of fight but yeah, it's a like, different sport. It's a different sport with different rules, and yeah. I feel like you know if you're applying that, I was surprised it took them so long to be like, "Hey, we got to take these kicks out of here." I'm like, "He's not even wearing gloves." Like yeah. this is, you know, which I get. It, the point is to be like, "We're going to prove that our method, even with all the advantages given to you, is better." Um, but yeah, it, it does. It does make me kind of curious to learn more. Like these both make you want to go and and you know, kind of. Uh, uh, immerse yourself in some kind of martial art but it also made me curious to kind of learn better the just sort of lexicon of boxing and how that works definitely very true the this movie the main fighter twister he is not the villain as much even though you hate him it's really the other guy that bothers me so much the british dude skinny short short pants yeah short pants dude (laughs) because the thing about twister is that Fighters 
today, 2023, in this country, sure. a lot of them are assholes. They want to fight. Not all of them, but, like, a lot of people. Well, there's an element of the show. Sh- the, of the show yeah. and, the sh- and the crap talking and the, you know, like, I'm going to beat. You know, it happens to this day where people get injured in when you sign up to fight somebody, you know, yeah. like there's some serious injuries that take place. So it, as much as I'm like, oh, my God, you're the worst. You suck because you have a judgment judgment on an entire culture that's false and you're ignorant. Uh, it's, it's like as opposed to the last one, the main villain was also the fighter. Yeah. You know, this one, the British dude's short pants. He's not a fighter. He has... Just like it's so annoying to watch him because you can't even fight. Like if anybody threw one punch at you, you would be out. You would be destroyed. But in yeah. the last one, at least the guy at the top was like the one who gets in the ring at the end. And you're like, you have to have some respect for that. The, the reason this one tall short pants dude was so annoying is because it's just like all of us sitting at home when we watch fights being like, punch him harder, play faster. And yeah. it's like. Bro, you would be out in two seconds. Yeah, you hide behind your status and your and your station, and you think that you're the king of the world just because of that. And you come in and you hit somebody's hand with a stick. You kind of, yeah. You, kinda, you have no skill. Yeah, you gotta have this guy held down, and it's just for yeah, hold him tighter. What? Because you because you would be screwed if there weren't five people holding him. Yeah. Because you have no ability. And if you didn't have your political leverage here. Which I thought they made some interesting stuff out of because I didn't know where to go. They just kept calling the character fat, so I don't remember his actual name. I feel bad calling him that. But, like, no, I, I wasn't know. sure where to lean with him. And I liked that ultimately it seemed like he was sort of, he he, he was true to his word. He's like, no, print the truth and I'm going to go tell him that this, I'm going to go tell, you know, I don't know, the MPs or whoever that this guy is severely out of line and is not, you know, is, you know, there's that thing of, of course they have the upper hand and there is an oppression happening here of some variety and there are deals being made and all that stuff. But, you know, it's like the guy is asking to be, you know, t- t- at least taken down from his station and, and, you know, tried for all kinds of misconduct. Yeah. And so I wasn't expecting that, but I was like, oh, cool. Well, at least, you know, they're going to show up and maybe, I don't know, reprimand this dude a little bit or, or again, at least... Yeah, remove, strip him of his ranks and all that stuff. Totally. It's like you want to see that guy get get the shit beat out of him, but desperately. I don't know. Yeah, but it's it is still. But quite this is him getting the shit beat out of him in his world. In his, yeah, you're losing your rip power. Yeah, and like without your power, you legitimately have nothing. I, I think that uh, I'm, we were like joking around for a second about if one camera phone, just a podcast, whatever it is. But it is crazy that today, you know, we always talk about. People say, like, there's so much more oppression, there's so much more, and it's like, this is just, in history, we just don't have the camera phones to show what pieces of crap everybody still were. Yeah, and that's that, I love that little motif they bring in of, like, he, the, um, um, oh, God, what's his name, the, the, um, the guy from the mill's son who he gets the job at the paper and uh he's mm-hmm. doing the pictures the one who calls like, him uncle man or yeah uncle man and uh yeah he's like putting pictures in and you realize like yeah all they had to go off of was like a radio broadcast and you know the newspaper and those things can easily you, you watch i think in one in that press conference as they spin the fight with master hung about being like you know uh he reluctantly uh, said yes yeah you know twister was like i guess you know and he you know he only threw a couple punches and uh, i guess this guy just he just really overestimated his ability and twister did everything he could to hold back and uh, then this guy died and you know, but then like, twister gets on the mic and twister's like oh i did your stupid incense and whatever and i'm like I you know. are the worst you've been punched in the head one too many times my dude so wantonly you. disrespectful and, and like that's the thing is it's an interesting it's an interesting quality that they get you to a point where you are i don't know like the the philosophy of ip is is such that you wouldn't root for someone to really get beat up <laughs> in any right. situation but they're good at bringing you to this point where you're like nah these dudes are bad dudes and even ip realizes like i have to teach these guys a lesson and i also have to lead with my example you know i have to show everybody around me that you know we cannot give in like it, it kind of complements all that stuff at the beginning because there are things about this movie that are kind of similar structurally to the first one you start out with just a bunch of sort of clashes between different schools of martial arts that also apply to again the hierarchy of uh 
you, you know, it's like Hung seems like he's put in this position to be an intermediary between the people who are really running the show and then he can kind of run things on a day to day basis. And so, yeah, you can go from all these squabbles that feel like they exist on that level that then ultimately crest into this bigger thing where it's like you're being pulled into some competition that the odds are stacked way against you because it's all controlled by these invaders and stuff like that. Yeah, the infighting is so stupid because it's really, it's not each other you're mad at. You're mad at the circumstances that none of you have money, none of you have the food or shelter that you need. Yeah. The other similarity between this one and the first one, there is a bunch, but in the first one and in this one, it kind of took me a minute to know what story we were going to tell. Like, it's not like, you know... Um, a typical three-act structure, which we see in a lot of cinema, where there's then the, the inciting incident at 10 minutes in, and then we break for act one, act two. You know, it takes yeah. us kind of like until maybe 45 minutes into these, like that midpoint or a, li- or a little before that mark, to be like, oh, this is what we're doing. Because at first you think that this is going to be between Master Hung's students and Ip Man's students. You know, they kind yeah. of picture, point it that way. And it takes us a long time to get to, actually, the enemy of your enemy is your friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if we could all just kind of, we, there's more of us than there are them. And when you do join forces and merge, then you're more powerful. And it and in both this movie and in the first one, it does it takes its time. It really breathes at the beginning. I think that one of the reasons I'm liking this so much is that the structure is so different than what we typically see in American cinema, which tells you immediately this is what this movie's about. Now you know this is what the movie's about. And this is kind of like, wait for it. Well, yeah, and it's like we gotta hop in. We, you know, first mm-hmm. five ten minutes, we gotta know exactly what's going on. And like, I, I, yeah, I really like the gradual build and and the way that again, both movies sort of allow you. The, the first one has a much more harsh, like, nope, the the occupation has now happened, yeah. and everything is about to change. The colors have changed. The flags have changed. Yeah, the locate everything. The, whole the tone house has that changed. we're in. The, yeah, everything's changed. Yeah, whereas here it's this yeah slow build up, and you catch you know Ip and his family in a more working person's position you know okay we're in this new place we got to start up a school we got to find a way to make money we're struggling a little bit okay here are this these little you know again petty squabbles and the little difficulty like i love just the build of you have it first you know this guy who comes in who's like yeah i'll see about paying your fees uh you know if you could defeat me and you start on just this yeah this just little whippersnapper who becomes his first student and then his little crones who then become the next batch of students and then you have the schools fighting and then you escalates into an in an, like an unfolding situation it's not so much that there's like a harsh tone shift it's not like oh snap now the british have arrived it's just oh you didn't realize what the the shape of the fishbowl you're in is you didn't realize how many layers there are and so i think that creates a nice sort of gradual dynamic to where yeah things start out really on the ground level and feeling very intimate and and just sort of day by day and then you slowly crest into this like huge sort of problem of principle by it, the end it would be obviously i know that this was what they say 1950 something but it it would be cool to see some of the women fight a little bit i know i was gonna say is, what are we are we pre-time where that was like an, a, an acceptable thing for for women to do i know when we in the first one obviously when everybody's training everybody starts to train in the uh the factory and stuff remember Mm -hmm. so they they, you know no people left out but you know i would like to see his wife pull a couple punches and do or do a couple things it'd be cool if some of the kids signing up when they're teens or whatever oh dude i I know people are gonna rip on me for that i'm sorry that i want women to be able to fight too i'm so sorry guys well, they did it in the first movie. I mean, it wasn't like a big focal thing, but they at least trained all the people at right. the mill, and some of them were women, and it's some of them were shown on screen throwing down. That's so, like, what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you know, in the third one, maybe one of the students, maybe just one. Yeah, yeah it seems like like to be a woman practicing martial arts at this point in time, either things have to be so desperate that yeah. everyone's <laughs> doing it, or maybe you're just that special. But, but yeah, like I am... Maybe a little bit surprised by that. And it seems like the further we get into this 
just historical timeline, the more it seems like everybody should know how to defend themselves a little bit just because you never know who you're going to be up against both like, at home and from abroad. That's what I'm saying. I think it's an easy way in the third one, like to train your wife. You know, you want her to be able to protect your kids when you're not home. Like, it would be nice to see she could handle it. I can't imagine her fighting because she's just so she's Graceful just the best. And, and yeah, she's just so, so. But then again, she's got all these qualities where I'm like, that would probably aid well. in your fighting ability. Mm-hmm. Make you very graceful and light on your feet. Oh, I feel <laughs> I feel you guys already hating on me for it. I'm sorry. No. It's just one note. It's a little note. Nah. I love the movie. It's a tiny note. I'm sure that, and, and too, I mean, I don't know, in bringing that up, I'm sure that there is history as to like when it became I more know. prominent and acceptable for women to join in this kind of, you know, study and school of thought. And, uh, and hey, maybe there's some of that to come. Who knows? I, I really have no idea. <laughs> what do you think about the third one? Is there anything that you would really want to see? Or is there anything that you would expect? I am so, so curious. Do you want to go the Bruce Lee route? Like, we just met little Bruce Lee. I know. And, and, and in the part, it's freaking Netflix, man. Like, I feel like you should know uh, on movies like this where it's like the, I had to go back and, and, and rewind the, the little uh, captions at the very end because it said he finally took Bruce Lee. They, they show you like a bunch of shit you're supposed to watch next. And I'm like, there are subtitles. Yeah, be respectful. Be respectful. We can't read. Yeah, it's so annoying. Uh, but apparently he took on Bruce Lee in 1956, as it says here. And so we meet him when he's like a child here. So, yeah, we we must be on like the cusp of the 50s here, like just just before or just around. And so, yeah, like it man three, I guess I would expect it has to be approaching the 50s or 60s or something so i would i would imagine a bruce lee presence of of some kind i almost don't expect him to be like a main character but maybe i mean you know that's a like fun a little kid messing around starting yeah. to learn yeah like a teenager just sort of part of the ensemble but maybe not and maybe even like with a bit of spotlighting but not yeah like the main supporting character necessarily um I don't know. I mean, and then villain wise, are you expecting them again to go this route where, like, it, you know, at first it is Japanese people, then it is the Brits? Do you want them to stay in that British hemisphere? I'm it's not the right word. In that Anglo realm, yeah, thematic realm. I don't. I I, I do like, and and this one. The first movie is much more of like this is a historical drama, and also. You know, very much a martial arts movie. With creative liberties, for sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This one is a bit more martial arts movie, certainly still historical drama, but a bit more steeped in and focused on, you know, these various fights and, and things like that. I feel like there was just a little bit more s- scene stuff between the fights in the first movie, which is not a complaint. Um, I guess I would expect in the third movie to be still pretty fight heavy. I have to imagine, though, that there's... You know, they're always testing Ip's poise and pushing him to a point where he has to fight in order to inspire people. And while on the one hand, I'm like, well, it'd be cool to try a different dynamic. I do think that is kind of a cornerstone because of his personality. It's like he's got to get to that point where he's like, I have to do this, not for myself, not for the fight, not for a show, but because this is for everybody. Like I'm fighting on behalf of a principle for everybody. So I feel like that kind of needs to stay intact, but I'm also like, I don't know what what we could do in history that's going to force that to happen. So, yeah, I have no idea. I I can almost expect maybe some kind of left turn or maybe some kind of America presence in the next one. I don't know. People like the third one. People love the third one also, right? Yeah, the yeah. only people seem very chuffed on the entire series. I've heard more mixed things about part four, but at least the first three people seem to love kind of unanimously. So either way, I'm excited no matter what. But I, yeah, I, I kind of am like each. I think it's good. I think it's a sign that you you really you know put it all out there when you get to the end of one of these movies and you're like, oh, what we're gonna do next, man? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Aside yeah. from maybe just like. Ip's still trying to run that school. Yeah, he uh, left and, it all out on the floor. Some bullshit's about to sweep in, and he's going to have to take up the mantle. And you know, <laughs> well, well, maybe we have a school for him. You know, they took away the school, so maybe there's a more established school. Yeah, maybe in the third can, one, he's finally able to have like, like a, a few place, locations. Yeah. You know, he's oh, got a it's franchise. A franchise? <laughs> franchise man. Totally. <laughs> I hope that that one main guy that first came to fight him that then became his number one pupil stays in the third one 
from this one, the, yeah. the guy who shows up at the top. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do too. They said there's one like throwaway line where they're like, he's okay, he's resilient. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure he could come back. And I would like that too. Like, I think it would be like, I like the way that this movie, in not a huge in your face way, but you, they brought back Jin and they brought back uh, his buddy from the factory with the duck. Mm -hmm. and, and that was really tragic. Um, that was. You know, I felt really bad for him. Well, there's ramifications of wartime, you know, and I think they were showing that. And. Um, this guy I, I liked and want to see him move forward because especially that one conversation they have when they're sitting there and he comes to apologize to him like I took your school away from you and I felt like that showed humility in a way that a lot of young people don't have and realizing yeah that under he, he clearly is starting to understand the message that it's not just about like you know proving yourself or fighting for your own reputation here in the moment there's much more you can't be goaded by people and you have to rise above that and that's the principle that your martial arts should inhabit and you can see him really taking that to heart in a moment like that which i think is really lovely because you know so many of these guys are just itching to throw down yeah totally you know? the and second they walk in they're like let's fight and it's like you yeah. gotta earn that my dude yeah and it's like our school's the best yeah. and, and you know it's, it's i do appreciate that that so many people show up all cocky and then all you got to do is is like really you know whoop them a little bit and they're like teach me yeah <laughs> on their know? knees i'm amazing. completely open to your training and philosophy now <laughs> yeah i'm with you yeah i don't know like it's it's just i i love you know, I have to imagine that this is somewhat based on the real guy's personality. I just love the personality of yeah, he is man. such a great centerpiece because there's so many characters in such big situations. And in a lot of ways, it's not just like that's the cool part about the historical aspect is it does feel like a broader thing about a lot of people. But it just so happens that he is at the core kind of anchoring the grace of it all. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, th I, th I think I said like 15 times throughout. I love Ip Man. Like that's it. It's a good thing that I love the character because the whole movie is really contingent on you really liking him. And he inspires like it's an inspiring character. Like you, you want to take that level of poise with you wherever you go, and that level of grace. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about that as we were watching too. The way that he says every time he wins the fight, like "Thank you for letting me win." Yeah, I was like, mm, I think we could all use a little more of that. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of rubbing things in people's faces or even like congratulating yourself just immediately trying to make somebody else feel better about their loss yeah because because yeah it's it's not about a fight for him even it's like it's just a demonstration it's just the chance of this particular fight because he knows he's the best i guess so it's weird it's like i don't even think he's thinking about it i don't uh, think he's no i don't mean it like that i just mean when i say he knows he's the best as in like he's got nothing left to prove to he's, himself yeah, he's, he's just like I, I don't have to impress you and say, like, I won because it we ev it is what it is. You just saw. so I'm secure in my ability. Secure. I don't have to prove anything. And, yeah, like, even if I did happen to lose, it wouldn't be the end of the world. I will lose. So I like that, too, that whole thing about, like, hey, in 20 years, you'll be able to beat me. No one's the best forever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. He just seems like a very zen kind Grounded. of guy. Yeah. Yeah, grounded is a good word for it. You know, not too much in, and also, yeah, like it reminded me of that line he says in the first movie to to one of the pupils about like, you know, you can't be just all up in your head about technique, <laughs> you know. And I think that's another big thing that these kind of hone you in on is like I loved when they outlawed the kicks and he throws one out and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, you're probably so used it, to yeah. those reflexes. And it's part of what makes you so good, but now that's a that's a handicap because you've got to factor all that out, and you've got to now be thinking harder in the moment. And that was a great little way to drive up that that tension. And yeah, it's like even though there are beats that are similar, they all feel very natural, and they don't feel like rehashed or derivative or anything like that. Yeah, he's Ip Man. He's very quick. He's Quip Man. <laughs> Quip Man. Oh. I've got to say, you know, as much as he doesn't seem like the kind, uh, you know, to be a ball buster, I bet he's got I, some quips. <laughs> I bet he's got some quips every now and again. He'll sneak one by you that you're like, oh, like I didn't even catch it at first, but oh, you got me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I sat. I, we can't watch him and Master Hung like be pals now because it seemed like there could have been like a really fun friendship. There. I am bummed that he died and can't be in the next one. Maybe we'll get some throwbacks to him. But that that is yeah. a, that's it was awful. And the funeral was like such a different looking setting from everything else. Just, they did a really good job of that. Minus the white house. 
the hood, the pointy, <laughs> the whole pointy hoods are historically uh, unfortunate. Problematic. <laughs> uh, given what, yeah, the, given what we will soon do with them in history, or may have been already probably doing in history with those. Brutal, brutal. Um, but it was, yeah, very striking to be like, oh, we're in a space that is just like all white, and 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 everything is very, like. Peaceful or well, it's that mournful serenity, but also everything is like a little bit more pristine than everything else, you know, mm-hmm. because you want everything to be, you know, as as nice as it can be, and you're in a place that is sort of impoverished. Nobody has money. Not not everything is like you know kept in ship shape cleanliness or whatever. So it is like a very there's like a sterility that comes with the mournfulness there. Um, but two, just huge props to Sammo Hung, and I'm not like the biggest expert. I've seen a few of his uh, films with Jackie Chan, most notably, and maybe a couple others that center on him. But he's just, I mean, he's prolific in martial arts cinema and Chinese opera and stuff like that. And I thought he was a in Chinese opera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which not, not. Uh, not the same idea as like you know a, a oh, operatic okay. song. Piece. I don't know anything about Chinese opera. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not like a huge expert, but I, I I have you know did a little bit of reading in that Jackie Chan biography, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and they came up together and, and and yeah, just to see him. I mean, he's such a prolific again martial artist and you know martial arts movie presence both in front of and behind the camera. So you know you have Donnie Yen who's already such a terrific actor and martial art, and then that's you know like a real lucky thing, going from this these movies to like John Wick chapter four. It's like Donnie Yen, obviously he's got the presence and the moves, but he's like a great actor too. Yeah. He's really good. And that table scene, man, that was like, again, and, and yeah, it's like such uh, the, the co- concept of that is so great. Cause yeah, it's like, you got to focus on the fight, but you also got to focus on your surroundings because you're going to be tilting and whirling and the way they shot that too. Like that's another part of this movie that seemed like it got a bit more juiced up is uh they cut they was there were more cuts and there were more sort of crazy angles and camera movements a lot of like interesting little like zooms or whips and things and not in in, in like a really good way i thought like you know especially in american action you can see things that are just edited to hell and it's just like throw every camera angle at it and people will get the idea whereas here i think it takes it's like you have the fight choreography which is already impressive and mind blowing on its own, but I thought they stepped up even further on the camera choreography to accentuate the fight choreography, um, and yeah, like superbly exemplified in that uh, table fight with all the little chairs and and the subtle use of of I would imagine wires for certain stuff, you know, going into that you know slightly more fantastical style, but but keeping it very grounded in the in the use of those even still you're not like full on crouching tiger right, flying right. but you know there is a little bit more of that lightness of air in there definitely the the movie does a really good job of telling uh, of showing us how to feel mm. based on everything other than the script the script <laughs> also does that but like with the colors and with the the music which like when, especially in the fight scenes you can hear in the music, uh-oh, uh-oh, something's coming, yeah. you know? And, like, you know how to feel. And it's kind of uh, training your m- mind when you're seeing the different colors. And some things are lighter than others. And some have a little more pop to them. And um, all of that, it's it's letting you know what's coming. Not in, a, like, a spoiler way, but just uh, this is bad. This is good. This is what this looks like. They really thought about all of the elements. And then we talked a little bit about the use of props, but I just felt like the props in this movie really elevated the fights from and, and differentiated the fights from the first movie. Because in the first movie, we had these incredible fights. And then, yes, in the factory with the feathers and all of the things that went down. Mm-hmm. But in this one, the the usage of that wooden board, right, or of all of the knives yeah, scenes. Those pallets the, yeah, yeah. The, there was just so many different elements that made it like imagine being on set rehearsing for this movie you know imagine those fight scenes like how are you doing that like how do you do that (laughs) there's so many moving parts and everybody's got their own thing and some of the shots we're seeing dozens of people do the their thing at once and you're working with tools and props that like you really can't f up and they're all hey. so trained in a way that's like 
I mean, it's the coolest dance you've ever seen in your life. Just the, the way that they have to do all of it. As somebody who has been on sets before, I can't imagine the pressure every single person is under. And also just like how you do that it just seems like it would take a million hours. Yeah. And from what little I know, again, about how they do it in, in Chinese and Hong Kong cinema is, is, yeah, it's like you have this intense level of choreography, but I think you also have on the flip. It's like here in our action movies, there's lots of regulation and there's lots of, you know, making sure that everything is like super duper safe. Whereas from my like understanding, ad-lib more kind of, you know, from from my understanding in these movies, there's more sort of like, let's figure it out on the day and let's, you know, kind of throw stuff at the wall and see what works and kind of. There's a, maybe a little more spontaneity and also just a little bit more acceptance that like, yeah, you're going to get hit a little bit. <laughs> you know, we're going to do some of these things pretty fast and we're going to do some of these things in ways that maybe aren't the most safe. But it oh, seems like no. everybody is game for it. I think it's just a different sensibility. Like on the one hand, I'm like, yeah, uh, like so many things could go wrong. And, and here in America, you're like, how many ways can you get sued? Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, throughout. Again, watching, hearing accounts of different crazy stunts and stuff like that, a lot of it is, like, kind of held together on a shoestring, and it is just about, you know, a a group of people kind of working it out on the day and and finding the coolest thing that they're all willing to throw down for. Right, the freestyle of it all is probably why it looks so good, but it does sound a little dangerous to me. But also, if this is your craft and that's how you want to deal with it, you are right. Like this with the ooh, who's going to get sued. I, that mentality definitely uh, prevents art from being the best that it can be sometimes. Yeah. It's like, I'm sure coming like crossing over. I'm sure it's probably a lot more fuss to do an American action movie than like a Chinese action movie for a lot of these types of actors who are, you know, heavy into stunt work and, and martial arts. Like and you think like Donnie Yen for John Wick was like, Oh, this is how it's done. All right. <laughs> I mean, he knows well enough, but see, the thing is, watching a John Wick movie, part of me goes, okay, I feel like these guys probably are steeped in this kind of cinema, too, and that kind of tradition, so if ever a Hollywood set was probably more willing to be like, eh, you know, we're kind of all stunt people, and even the, like, actor, actors who are here, most all have gone through some level of training, so we can probably play a little more loose with those lines. But yeah, I mean, in general, I think it would be a bit more restrictive crossing over to here. It's like you watch something like John Wick 4 and you're like, I don't think Donnie Yen was restricted in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, totally. He was asked about his character for that. And I think he said, they were like, what did you base it off of? And he said, I just wanted to be as badass as humanly possible or something. And it's like, mission accomplished, man. The, The thing about him being so charismatic is he can blink and I'm like intrigued. Sure. But even when he was looking so much presence. at Master um, Hung and they, they're they looking at each other and, and um, he, you can tell he doesn't want Master Hung to keep fighting because he's about to die. But their eye contact with each other is just disturbingly upsetting. You know, just you're watching and it's like desperation because what it man knows is that he's not wrong. Mm-hmm. And he's fully understanding what this guy's real position is like i thought their their arc of understanding each other was really beautifully handled and and props i started saying earlier to sammo hung because i mean he has just as much you know poise and presence even though he is presented as more of an antagonist from the start like again his martial arts abilities and his presence as a character you know like when he goes down you really feel for that and part of that is the circumstance but a huge amount of that is just him and the way that yeah i think that 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 moment of realization and him being like, it's not that easy, <laughs> you know, like I, I can't just take him down, you know, the, in this a, I mean, you know, he's clearly formidable, but B there's just so much more, more here than, than either of us really kind of can fully grasp. I wonder if his kids will be a, a part of the third one. You know, he left behind a wife, a whole family. I can totally see like it. What happens with them? Does master Ip take care of them? I can see it. And I mean, they, they've, I think that was one of the nice things about this is that sort of, it makes the world feel alive, even though you're not focusing on most of the characters from the last movie in, you know, great depth. They are still here mm-hmm. and they all have lived and they serve a little purpose, especially Jin showing like, yeah, you can grow beyond being this, this hothead guy. So yeah, like in a story like this, that sort of, um, you know, just the sorrow and the, and the, 
uh, just the, I don't know, the, the crushing blow of having your father taken from you in such a harsh manner and your husband, you know, taken from you in such a harsh manner. I could definitely see those characters factoring back in. I just don't know what direction they would have to go in. Yeah, it might be small moments or whatever, but. Yeah, I mean, things for more human dramatic quality rather than like oh we got to go on some revenge mission or something like yeah, that like, like in I don't, world I don't feel building like continuing yeah. yeah just as like a, a one-stop storyline kind of like the guy with the duck mm-hmm. where it's like you know he, we see him like three times maybe but he's got his own arc yeah and it's just a little thing but even that him him re- realizing at the end and sort of some of that memory coming back and even he is sort of healed a little bit through this it's just like such a beautiful little they didn't have to do that at all, you know, and I thought that was a nice, again, really compassionate little story and a great way to show constantly if it's just trying to do like the the truly good altruistic thing for people. Even when nobody's watching. Even when nobody's watching. And, and even that's when the you most don't have, imp- you know, it's not like he at this point has his riches. He gives the money for the duck, even though he can't pay his own rent. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like is you this who we should all aspire to be and 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 in the most important moments is when nobody's looking mm-hmm. you know like that's when it's true truest so uh not performative just doing yeah. it yeah 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 it's like he runs the spectrum and it's like and then when it gets to be in front of everybody it's not even about that you know it's not for that and it's clear and his little speech at the end simple brief but incredibly straightforward and super poignant yeah he know? says like that that's all <laughs> that's all yeah, yeah i'm not here to talk shit i just hope that maybe we can all you know be a little bit more tolerant of each other and recognize that all people have dignity thanks mm-hmm. <laughs> you know and and yeah i think that's a really lovely wonderful message and yeah like especially looking at modern times there is that tradition of shit talking and whatnot and hey it's part of the pageantry it's part of the fun but you know there is a line and i think they just do a great job here showing people who just have absolutely no respect i mean so, well yeah. part of it was just straight up racism i mean they were name sure. calling and yeah. stuff too that's like we're so far past the line i can't even see the line anymore yeah 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 well golly we did it golly g this this certainly had nothing to say about this movie yeah we're just such Ip Man fans now. It's cool to be part of the Ip Man fan club. The Ip Man. We've been we're hearing Ip about fans. it. H- having Ip Man 1 live up to the hype. Ip Man 2 live up to the live hype. Live up to the hype. I feel like this might be an Ip Man 3 journey that we're on. We'll see. It's coming. Yeah. The, the, real, one, the real question mark for me is Ip Man 4. Because <laughs> sometimes also 3 is a nice sweet spot, you know? You, what are you, Indiana Jonesing right now? That's right, because <laughs> then we're going to have to get Ip Man 5 to fix whatever went wrong in Ip Man 4, and then, then you're, you know, in a whole other perilous game. Once I'm on a journey, though, I'm on the journey, and I'm signed up, I'm signed up. I'm here for Ip Man 15, if that's what it takes. Yeah, and I mean, even if Ip Man 4 or whatever other installment isn't, you know, as great as the first, I'm, I'll always be happy to check in with the guy, you know. Yeah, totally. I'll always be happy to check I'm in. I'm sure there are the elements world. that are still great. Yeah. Well, all right. Thank you for for enduring, for braving the challenge with me. And thank you guys as well for your enthusiasm, your love down in the comments. We have had an absolute blast and a half covering these. And I personally would absolutely adore the opportunity to do the next one. So if you want that, comment below. Leave a like on the video. That helps us out immensely. Uh, Go on over to Patreon if you want to see the full experience. ShopZeroEdition.com if you want some reject swag to support the channel that way. And look good in the process and uh hey we'll catch you on the next one much love people be good be ip man be ip man